Good morning from the garden. So it is the third week of October. We have yet to have a frost, which seems a little bit crazy this year. Um, so I decided to come out here in the garden this morning and save some of my Celosia seed. Now, this is all um, Floret Celosia seed. I think it is a mixture of the Texas plume and Pompous plume mix, but I am really loving the yellow and the gold colors. So that's what I'm gonna be clipping today. Now, Celosia is pollinated by the wind. So it cross pollinates if you plant it close together which I did and so I may not get exactly what I have growing this year but I think it'll be a fun experiment for next year just to see what I will actually get so I'm gonna start clipping some of these seed heads and then I'll show you what I have Okay, so I think I have plenty of celosia for the small amount of seed that I want to save. I have two different kinds. This is more of a bright golden yellow. It is so pretty. And this is a little more thicker of a bloom and it is more of a pale yellow. But I loved both of these for fall this year. And really only a couple of the celosia plants that I planted were these colors uh, because they came out of the mixes and so I want to make sure that I definitely have more of these next year. Even though they may not bloom exactly the same, I just want to try this as an experiment. So let's take these inside and I'll show you how I'm going to dry them the rest of the way. Okay, so I'm inside my photography studio. Here is the bunch of celosi that I just harvested from the garden. I want to let it continue drying out inside before I harvest the seeds. So I'm probably gonna let these lay for another couple weeks. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna trim the plants so that all of the stems are off and then I'm gonna lay them out on a paper towel. I'm gonna to set them back in my storage room, which is a cool dry area, and then just let them keep drying. Now normally I would let them dry a little more outside on the actual plant, but we have some frost in the forecast and so I wanna get these clipped and inside before that happens. So I'm just gonna clip just the top seed heads off, just to save space, and I'm gonna let those dry on my paper towel. You can tell when your celosia starts going to seed because you can see the seeds start to form at the bottom of the flower. Okay, so that is going to do it for today. I'm going to set these aside probably for a week or two, let them keep drying and see how they look, and then this video will pick back up when I'm ready to harvest the seeds. Okay, so it has been about four days since I originally harvested this celosia seed. And while the blooms are not completely dried out, they are dry enough that I can see the seeds starting to fall out of them. So I know I'm gonna be able to get plenty of seeds for what I need to plant next year. So this process is actually really simple and I'm gonna keep it right on this paper towel that I'm letting them dry on. I'm just gonna simply shake these blooms so that the seeds fall out and then I already have two envelopes pre-marked that I'm going to put each of the seeds in so I know what they are. And then I'm gonna store them in a cool dry place and then I can plant them in the spring. So I have one that I'm calling golden celosia and below that I've put in parentheses floret because I know that I originally purchased these seeds from floret. Um, again, they are either the pompous plume or the Texas plume mix. I'm not quite sure, but the more golden one, I'm just labeling my golden celosia. And then the other one I'm calling the pale yellow celosia. So I'm going to go ahead and keep my dried bloom right over top of the paper towel. And I'm going to just shake it, kind of hitting it on my hand. And I can literally see the seeds fall out of the blooms. So that is literally all I am doing to harvest these seeds and all of the little black flecks that you see falling out of your celosia, those are the seeds. 
So I'm just gonna gather these blooms, set them aside, and from the paper towel, I'm gonna put them in this envelope, put them in storage, and get them out in the spring. Okay, so that's it for this video. I'll be posting quite a bit more content as we move through the fall into the winter. I've already started planning for next year's garden and I have a lot in the works. So stay tuned, we'll see you soon.